The weather in the low 70s is dry. The crowd expected to be a wreck as the Michigan Wolverines host the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Ann Arbor. Bright and beautiful under the sun as you look down on Michigan Stadium, packed today with more than 100,000 people. With Anthony Carter, number one, and Evan Cooper, number 21, going deep to receive the kickoff from Notre Dame's Gary Perk. He will kick with the win. and floats and bounces to Cooper and Carter takes it instead out of the end zone spins it to the 12 before Bernie Adele brings him down so let's check the starting lineup for Michigan Steve Smith opens at quarterback Stan Edwards Mick Jr. at fullback Butch Woolfolk track man is a tailback and Anthony Carter is the flanker Vince Bean the Michigan offense was not very productive against the Badgers of Wisconsin last week. Down the line comes Smith on a keeper. Turns it into the open, and he runs it across the 35 to the 39 before they get him. First down for the Wolverines, and that woke up this big crowd. Smith gives it off to the tailback, Wolfel. And Wick runs it across the 45 to the 46 for eight yards. Ed Muransky is a Michigan tackle at 275. Stefan Humphreys, a guard at 240. Tom Dixon, a center at 238 pounds. Kurt Becker, 260-pound guard. Bubba Paris, a 270-pound tackle. And the tight end is Norm Betts at 230 pounds. It is second down and two with Carter. Wide to the open side of the field, and Betts goes over there to join him. On second and two, Wolf Oak has the ball. Notre Dame defensive flow, very good. Notre Dame defensive line, Griffiths, Bach, Gramke, Kramer, Rudzinski, Krabels of Agden, the linebackers. The secondary is Torren, Prim, Dewerson, Bone. The ball goes to Wolfo. He gets away from the man in the backfield. He gets into Notre Dame territory and goes to the Irish 40, the 13 yards. He had a pretty good day last week with 119 yards in defeat. From the 40 of Notre Dame, first down Michigan, the quarterback Smith keeping on the option, spins it back into the middle and gets good yardage, goes down to the Irish 32 for eight yards, Had Carter to the top of the picture. The tight end is in motion, Wolf off the tailback with time to leave the block, goes for the first down and then some, he's inside the 20 down close to the 17. Side. Now they put Betts, the tight end, in motion and give it away to the fullback, Stan Edwards, and Edwards penetrates to the 14 of Notre Dame. Senior out of Detroit, and he's wide to the top of the picture. And here's the pitch to Wolfo. He has an army in front of him, but there's penetration by Zabagnan, the weak side linebacker. Third down and seven yards to go for Michigan with Carter, who has not yet seen the ball at the top of the screen. Johnny Krim comes over to go one on one with him, and Smith rolls it out. He throws it for Carter, but it is way short. This one is from 31 yards. The hold is good. The kick is up. The folks in the end zone say good, but the folks wearing the striped shirt say no, it is not good. And so Michigan, after a very impressive march down the field, and Tim Cagle is your quarterback. Cagle, a senior out of Cincinnati. Played for Jerry Faust at Motor High School. Now they shift it into an eye formation. Turn around and give the ball to the fullback, Larry Moriarty. Tim Cagle, a look at Tim there. He is 6'4", 205. Moriarty, the fullback, 6'2", 220. Greg Bell, 6 feet, 205, out of Columbus. And Tony Hunter has been moved to wing back at 6'5", 220. Second down and eight. Dave Condini now in at a wide spot. Comes way wide to the left side out of the picture. And Cagle rolls it back to throw it. Has good protection and gets his pass away. Incomplete intended for Condini. Tom Thayer is a tackle for the Irish at 265. Randy Ellis a guard at 250. Mark Fisher, the center, weighs in at 245. Mike Shiner on the right side, 270. And the tackle alongside of him, Bill for Derek, 270. And the tight end, Dean Maspak, 240. They're plenty big. Third down and eight for the Irish from their 22. They're double wide to the left side. 
Cagle back to throw, gets some pressure, throws a screen pass intended for the fullback, Larry Moriarty. There's a look at the Michigan defensive people who did their job. They pinned up Notre Dame, held him without a first down. On fourth down and eight now, the Irish are going to have to punt the football with his back. He has a good snap and plenty of time, and he hits a bullet. Carpenter retreats all the way to the 23 and falls down. And oh, is he unhappy, but Smith at quarterback, and Edwards and Wolfolk behind him. That goes to Butch Wolfolk. Wolfolk getting some heat, but he's a hard man to tackle low. And he is dropped, however. But Joe Johnson's now in the Irish secondary, number 27. It is second down at about 10 and a half yards. Lost a little bit on that play. As Smith rolls it back to throw it, goes to the sideline. The corner, John Cram got in front of him and almost scored a touchdown. And a little more than 10. Carter again to the top of the picture. Back to throw. Better protection this time. Gets it off to Carter to the sideline. Dave Dewerson is right there. With... Not a very good kick by Bracken, who set a school record for punting last year, but he does get a good roll on it. And when it starts rolling on these rugs, it just keeps on rolling, and it rolls inside the 20 dead at the Irish 16. Cagle sets him in motion with Fred Bell, the tailback, carrying the ball and knifing across as Keith Bustick. The game was about six, second down and four, and Condini goes out of the picture to the wide side of the field, and Cagle pitches the ball to Bell. Bell on a cutback inside tackle, runs it out for the first down. Out of Bushka coming to the left side. Cagle gives it to the ball back for Runs over the left side behind Ellison Fair. This time Mike Favorite is the man that comes way wide out of the picture. And here's the ball to Bell. And Bell is out to the 39 for another Notre Dame first down. They move around a lot. Owner is now, Hunter is now way wide. But Cagle stays with the ground game that's starting to work. So this time the Michigan defense slams the door. Second down and eight from the 42. Michigan secondary retreating with it. Pass over the middle and the pass is complete. Down to the Michigan 32 with the big tight end Dean Maztec from the 32. Here's Hunter. The wing back reversing in misdirection going to the right side. Second down, short seven. Ball is at the Michigan 28. The Michigan 18. First down Irish, Michigan 18. It's out of the tailback this time for Tony Hunter as he had uh, shifted back into that position. This is the 10th play in the Notre Dame possession. Cagle back on second down. Gets it off for Hunter. Hunter to the 10, to the 5, and out of bounds. Mastak it is, not Hunter. First down and goal to go at the Michigan 6. First and goal for the Irish. motion has the ball sweep to the left checks it back in down to the five goes to the four they don't give him that four they make it on the five so he gained the one second down and goal to go it is hunter and tony hunter gets to the four and uh, triple wing key to the right okay go falls down The referee, Tom Quinn, and the name Harry Oliver haunts Michigan from what happened a year ago. The final play of the game at South Bend hit a 51-yard field goal to win the game, 29-27. He fake it. The pass caught by Tony Hunter, but he falls down, and Notre Dame going for some trickery as Dave Convini. First down at their own four. No score with 3.25 to go in the first quarter. Try to run it out of there with Wolf Oak. He gets to the five. Smith gives the ball off inside. And the play is good for a first down as Stan Edwards put it away. First down for Michigan at the 26. Nets in motion. Give it away to Ingram inside. He's up across the 30 to the 31. Right now the Irish are sitting on top of the heap. And Smith back to throw it for Michigan. 
Gets it off over the middle. Had his man wide open. I mean, Craig Dunaway was lonesome. Three for right. 22 for young Steve Smith. Stan Edwards back in at fullback. He's going to put it up again on third down and six. Throws to Wolfo out of the backfield, and Butch won't get the first down. He gets up across the 35 yards. Penalty flag. First one of the ball game. Kick high and forcing a fair catch ball by John Prim. Illegal procedure. Offense. Do not have seven on the line of scrimmage. Teams have had opportunity. Smith snap is low, bouncing into the hands. And this time it gets away and it's going to roll deep again. I'll tell you one thing about Don Buck, and he knows how to get it to roll downfield, doesn't he? You've got a new quarterback and you've got a new tailback. it out of a full house and give it to Tony Hunter. And Hunter is nailed pretty much on the line of scrimmage. The quarter is over. So we have no score after one. Notre Dame now will be working into the win. Second down. Still about nine and a half for the Irish. The ball goes to Tony Hunter. Hunter trying to run it on a sweep to the left side. Gets it out to the 15. And there Mike Boren leaves. He was a holy terror on defense. They keep it on the ground. The uh, game is out across the 20. They haven't had to kick it. This time, Blair Keel's going to have to hit it into a win. Gets it away. Good kick. Fielded. They're back at the 37. And down goes the catcher. And you can see that Michigan is still dangerously deficient in passing. Only four yards. Ball is at their own 38. First down. No score. Second quarter just getting underway. Smith gives the ball off to the tailback, Lawrence Ricks. Richard Jr. out of Barberton, Ohio. Ricks again, this time to reverse it off to Carter. Carter wants to throw it, can't do it. Ball's not loose. Anthony picks it up and gets slammed. Back on the 28. But he didn't. And it's third down and about 22. As Smith drops the throw, he's got his tight end open, but he's got Carter down. Michigan leads the game with a first touchdown and a bullet, a bomb to Carter, 71 yards. It's good. 12-08 to play in the first half. Timeout, and Michigan, big yardage. All right, here's your kickoff. Greg Bell is the deep man standing in the end zone. Hodgesheek knocks it two yards deep, but Bell's coming with it. And he gets it out to the 16, maybe the 17. But now we're ready to play football. Our first down, Notre Dame. With Blair Keel in at quarterback. Turns, pitches the ball back to Phil Carter. And Carter bounces over the 20, close to the 22. Second down and six. Carter again. Bill is tripped up. Expecting pass from the Irish. Don't get it. Go to the tailback Carter, and Carter is close to the first down. Deal has it. He throws it to the short man Hunter, and Tony dropped it. Just flat dropped it. Second down and 10 for the Irish. The ball at their own 28. Michigan leading 7 0. 10 20 to play in the first half. It's Carter with the tailback. Did he get a lick. He got yardage. Anticipating pass on third and long. Gonna get it this time. Steele on a deep drop. Getting some heat now. Coles is after him and they've got him back inside the 25. Cedric Cole. In this big old bowl. Snap is good. Kick is away. Good kick. Carpenter. That is 36. We'll look out. 45 of Notre Dame. First down for Michigan. The ball is back at the, let's call it the 33. That's Michigan. And Smith in trouble. Pretty good footwork to get out of trouble. And gets it up to the 35 before Crable. Second down and eight. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Dunaway goes in motion. On an option. Steve Smith, the quarterback, spins it across the 40. Gets to the 41. As Michigan sets it up on third and a short two. And they delay it to the tailback Lawrence Ricks. Ricks gets over there and runs right into two white shirts and it's stopping time. Like it's got the wind. 
He gets it up. Not too high. So the liner he goes to Prim. And John is down at the 24. Alabama by six over Kentucky at halftime. Greg Bell and Tim Cagle are back in now. Bell at tailback, Cagle at quarterback for the Irish. Michigan leading 7 0. Notre Dame working from its 24. Penalty flags are down and whistle stuck it. Stays down in Gainesville. No Rutgers has won again no last night. First down from between the 24 and 25. Inside it goes to the fullback, John Sweeney. Second down and nine. Cagle to throw it, has time, goes over the middle with it, mass cut. Contact was made. Third and nine. Notre Dame from the 26. Wait back. No break. Now gets the heat. Got a penalty flag. They got it. Back on the 15. Doug James, the play for Michigan. Carpenter returned punts for 56 yards last year, three of, last week, three of them. Accepted back at the 38. Hole closed on Bryant as he brings it back. On the 46 for Michigan, Wolverine for the ball. Smith back to throw it. He goes for Carter. Carter's down there, out of bounds, incomplete. Second and ten. Smith keeps it, spins away from one, but can't get away from two. And third down and eight now for the Wolverines from their 48. Smith on a deep drop. Too short. Yerson, Prim, deep. There's your high hanger. Up in that bright sun, forcing a fair pitch. And Yerson makes the catch. 429 to go in the first half. The Irish have it at the 24, their own. And the handoff goes to Bell. Tail back. Second down, six. Hunters wide to the open side of the field. Cagle's got it. Look out, blind sided. Coming, Marion Body. Bushko is wide to the right this time. Penalty flags are down. Cagle's pass is away to the sidelines. Incomplete. The pass was overthrown intended for Tony Hunter. Notre Dame in trouble. They have not let them get any field position. The fine kick there by Keo. Carpenter back at his 36. And a bit of a hole. Gets it back to the 45. Well, see, they go use of the hand. 94 blue. 94 blue on a push. They cannot enlarge Notre Dame Stadium. The seats over 59,000. That's Butch Wolfolk the tailback. And not with his defense playing as uh, well as they are. And I go deep to Carter again. Give that ball to Wolfolk. He's getting some good blocking from Becker on the left side. Gets a block from Carter. Almost gets around the corner. He didn't do much for their weight, though. <laughs> Two a day. No, they're big fellas. All right, it's Wolfolk again with the ball. This time he is stripped by Crable. Number 43. Smith to throw it, gets it off, pass caught by Carter, and it's down at the Irish 38. Smith's going to put it up again. He's looking for Carter, he had him for a moment, goes to the sidelines and is out of bounds. Pass is incomplete. There's the stats on Steve Smith, 3 for 10 and 3 for 18 last week. Well, he's leading 7 to nothing. That's Second. what counts. <laughs> <laughs> they give it up the middle to Wolfolk. And the high stepper goes inside the 25, close to the 23. Notre Dame in right out of the play. First down. Oh, near the Irish 23. Smith getting some heat, goes for the corner. Carter's over there. Great play by Krim. Carter got his hands on it. But... Second down and 10. Smith sets it up, goes over the middle with it. Intercepted by Krim. He deflected it and intercepted it. Another great play by John Crim. First down for the Irish. The ball is back at their 18. The interception by Crim. They keep it on the ground. Stay inside with it with Tony Hunter. Second down, long seven. And that's going to be the end of the first half. So, we've played 30 minutes of football. Before better than 105,000 people here in Ann Arbor. And the Michigan Wolverines are leading... The Irish of Notre Dame by a score of 7 0 will be Ali Haji Sheik from Arlington, Texas.
He hammers all the way out of the stadium. Those it is. Bill Carter is in to start the second half at tailback. Moriarty is the fullback. Here we go. The second half. Michigan leading 7 0. And the ball is given to Phil Carter. From the 20 out to about the 23. Uh, four man front. As they move around, now the linebacker on the outside uh, comes up to make it a five man front. And Cagle looking to throw it. Has to pull it down and run it. And they get him short of the 30. Third down and one for Notre Dame at their 29. They give it to Carter. Carter can't get it. Carter can't get it as Mike Boren makes another great play. Keel is in the punt. Brian Carpenter drops back to accept it. Pressure's on. Kick his way. It's a good kick. Going into the win. Got a spinning. Turned it over. And Carpenter looking for a little wall over there. Finds a bit of a crease. And runs it back to the 40. Keep it on the ground. They go to the fullback. Stan Edwards. A long time ago. Those were going. <laughs> Pitch is outside the wolf folk, and he takes a what from John Krim. So Krim comes up with another fine defensive play. Junior out of Farmington, Michigan. It is third down and four for Steve Smith. He's going for Carter, and it's incomplete. And Dewerson knocks it down. Uh, back off of it a little bit now, and he gets his kick off. It's a good one. Goes on to the end zone. So it'll be Michigan's ball, uh, Notre Dame's ball, rather, at first down and ten at the point. out around the 26 27 before Boren we call it second down short four Mastak comes way wide to the right side or toward you well look out for the option pass Hunter puts it in the air Mastak's back there and it's intercepted by Bostic Bostic looked at uh, Mastak coming downfield and then turned to pick up the ball and was right in his hand Keith Jackson, Frank Broyles, and Steve Davis here at Ann Arbor, Michigan Stadium, and Steve Smith hands the ball to Butch Wolfolk. And Wolfolk penetrates it. He got just enough. Bostic, who made the interception to give Michigan the ball, Wolfolk picked up eight on that carry. And Butch uh, totaling 77. Uh, on first down at the Notre Dame, 42 for Michigan. Hand it off to Edwards again. And Stan running in traffic. Nine minutes to go now as Michigan has it. Second down and six. Wolfolk, the tailback. Great speed. Inside the 30 to 34 with Crable. Carter's the wide man out of the picture. Edwards, the fullback, and Stan has the first down to the Notre Dame 31. Iowa having upset Nebraska last week at Iowa City. First down for the Wolverines. And it's the tailback, Wolfel. Butch is a big, angular sort of a fellow, and ball is at the 26. Almost some movement in that line, but Smith, the quarterback, keeps it. And well, Michigan hides a ruffle, though. They've lost twice in a row now, successively, by two points. And Wolfel. Butch with a big hole over the right side makes it first down for Michigan. And Moransky and Paris, the tackle slip flop. First down for Michigan. Go back to Wolf Folk. And Butch is caught behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Horan comes up now. He's going to blitz. And they pick him up. And the pass completes to Carter. Carter shakes one. Gets away from another. point. 6.22 to go. The ball is fumbled. Adjishik picks it up. Throws a pass. It is caught by Wolfolk, but he can't get to the end zone. Here it is again. The finish. And watch the tight end 88. Not clip. Stay there. And just scream. And so the extra point try goes awry, though, and that might be a factor before the day's done. 13-0 Wolverines, and he knocks it on out of the end zone or deep in the end zone no return there snapper bj dickey the holder wasn't even looking no Hit it right inside of the head keith i i don't understand it because usually this the system is that the holder tells him when to snap the ball something went wrong 
Lost back to the 17, where it is second down and 13. The ball is given off to Greg Bell, and Bell runs it up across the 20 to the 21. Third and long. Third and eight. Blair Keel throws the pass. It is incomplete. Notre Dame. They got an eight-man front, trying to put some pressure on the kicker, Keel. Low line drive kick. Goes Watch right out. to Carpenter. Gets a little block. No, sir. Fine open field tackle. <laughs> Lawrence Ricks is the tailback now for Michigan. Stanley Edwards, the fullback, has the ball. And he moves it from the 43. Give it to Ricks this time. And Lawrence to midfield. And Bo is saying faster, faster, faster. <laughs> down the line, Smith, the quarterback, first down, Wolverines, Notre Dame, 40. He's run for 58 yards on seven carries. That's the tailback, Ricks, getting outside to the 30. In this quarter, Michigan's run off six first downs, Notre Dame none, Wolverines leading 13 to nothing, Stan Edwards, the fullback, on first down, gets two. Smith on the option, goes outside to Wolfolk. Wolfolk gets a block, gets around the corner inside the 20. He's got a Michigan first down at the Notre Dame 17. First down, Michigan. Notre Dame 17. Give it to Wolfolk, the tailback. To the 15. About 90% of the time. Lawrence Rick is a tailback, but Ricks will not get this time as Smith stays in the air, throws it, and it's almost intercepted by Stacy Foran. You've got a penalty flag thrown at the goal line. But now I may not go that way. Good. Nope. Excellent. The Michigan players come up now over the ball, asking the crowd to quiet down. Smith sets him up out of the eye. Right now, Michigan's going for two. 19 to nothing, and they want to make it 21. Want to get multiples of seven if they possibly can. Carter's in motion. Carter's got the ball. He's got an army in front of him. But man, Notre Dame throws him out of bounds. Boy, I'll tell you, that took a hard head and a square jaw to keep him from getting in. Graham and Jurison came over and made the play, and it remains 19 to nothing. The defensive pass interference call against Stacy Torren. Haji Sheik kicks it off. Ball's bouncing around, bouncing around. They've got to pick it up. John Trim finally picks it up. But ball back on their own eight yard line, working into the wind. They give the ball off the field, start of the tailback, and now the Michigan defense is just breathing fire. Keith, you're going to have to stop it. Illegal procedure. Nope. Go to Carter, the tailback. Gets good blocking around the corner and runs the football out to about the 18. It might be the last play of the third quarter right here on third down and one. Tony Hunter has the ball trying to muscle for the first down and he won't get it. Ben Needham. So we played three. A message and a word from our local station. Michigan sitting on a 19 to nothing lead and Notre Dame kicking the ball away. Blair Keel hangs it up with the wind in his back. Ryan Carpenter takes it at the 40. Oh, and again, Michigan's got great field position. And UCLA leading Wisconsin in a ball game that's featuring a lot of scoring. Wisconsin having beaten Michigan last week. Right now, here are the Wolverines trying to handle Notre Dame, giving the ball to Lawrence Wicks. Once again, to re-emphasize grow in size. Goes Stanley Edwards for a first down. He was down before the ball squirted loose. All Michigan so far. At the Irish 37. First down. Smith gives it to Lawrence Ricks. And Ricks gets it close to the 30. Maybe Sam will be wrapping on a helmet and playing again for the Patriots. Up the middle this time with it. And they're just short of Third and a short yard. Give it to Wolfolk up the middle. And Butch is inside the 10 down to the 7. 
It's first down and goal to go from the six. Smith on an option. Touchdown. Will go for two. You can see the hurt on Faust's face there. The pass is incomplete. Intercepted, as a matter of fact, by John Graham as the penalty flag thrown. Inside, meaning he covers it inside, he covers it to the outside. Pass and whatever. appearance call there. Are you surprised? And at the wall call. Nope, he's going to throw it. Oh, he had him wide open, too. Craig Dunaway was just all alone. And Smith threw it too soon. Last time the Irish were shut out was 1978 by Missouri, 3 to nothing. Haji Sheik hangs it high. It's picked up in the end zone, and they got to come out with it. And breaking to the outside and getting a good return for Notre Dame. First down for the Irish out at the 23. Tim Cagle. Looking for somebody. Finds a white shirt, throws, and misses. Greg Bell, the tailback from South Carolina. Ball is given off to the tailback. Bell. Bell is caught and wrestled down. One of the, as we listen to the call. Yep. First down, though, on that face mask call at the 41 of Notre Dame. Irish have the ball, and Cagle looking to throw it straight back with it. Goes to the sidelines. Pass caught by Hunter. Tony Hunter goes up and makes a fine leaping catch. Completion. Well, he's 6'5", and Evan Cooper trying to defend this 5'11". Go back with the ground, and... Uh, Time to throw, throw short. For Hunter, Hunter to the 30, down to the 28. Third down and about two. They go to Bell. And Greg Bell's got the first down. He says, believe me. Condini, the wide man out of the picture. All the Irish. Cagle getting good protection, goes down the middle. It is picked off. Intercepted by Tony Jackson. Up the field. The pass was late. Blocking below the knees. Oh. Gary Faust apparently about to absorb his first defeat as the head coach of the Fighting Irish. Gerald Ingram is in there at fullback now for Michigan. Ball goes to the tailback. And Butch Wolfolk is out to the 25. Wolfolk now, 21 carries and 134 yards. To the fullback, Ringham, and a penalty flag. Dead ball, the legal procedure, 72 beat the snap. It'll be second down and eight now after the penalty. They give it to Wolfolk. And that's a little late getting started, a slight delay on it. Goes to Wolfolk. Again, you've got penalty flags. You may have a clip on that one. Clipping number one. Coming back. Now they're whittling away on the ranks of the unbeaten. USC and Indiana were scoreless in the third quarter. Here Smith putting it out long. It's going to be picked off, and it is. Norm Betts, the intended receiver, grabs Joe Johnson, a freshman out of Postoria, Ohio. So here's the out. Let's make this the 41. It's closer there. Michigan 41. 820 to play. Cagle, the quarterback. Goes over the middle with it. He's got Tony Hunter wide open. And Hunter is inside the 10, down at the 6, maybe the 7. First and goal to go from the 8 for Notre Dame. Cagle wants to put it up. He's got some pressure. He gets it off. It is batted down. Intended for Hunter. And second down and goal for the Irish. At the Michigan 8. Bushko wide open, throws instead to Maztac, makes the catch, penalty flag there. Let's see about it. Interference. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Really. The extra point try by Oliver is good. And so Notre Dame is on the board at 7.42 to play in a ball game. It's Michigan 25, the Irish 7. Onside. Oh, they kick it away. That surprises me. Carter at the one. 
Oh, <laughs> he was one block. Football team. First down for Michigan. Handed off inside to Gerald Ingram. Get it off just in time. Give it to Butch Wolfolk. And Butch is caught and thrown down by Bob Crable. Third down and nine for Michigan. Dead ball. Delay the game. Offense. Colorado leading my alma mater there. 7 0 in the second quarter. They're playing that in Boulder. Third down and 14. And here comes Lawrence Ricks. As they fake the reverse to Carter, Ricks keeps sitting with some degree of harshness here this afternoon at Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor. And Bracken hits it up the old elevator shaft. Plucked it straight up in the air. It hits the sideline up at the 47, just inside the 48 of Michigan. And Cagle will put it up. Throw short. Ball is knocked loose. Cagle, throw it again. No, sir. No time. Robert Thompson looking at about third and 17. Cagle hit just as he throws and no chance to get the ball to Phil Carter. Try to make the first down. The center, get the center. Deal shanks it. He shanks it bad. Michigan recovers it the way back at the Notre Dame 48. That was a two yard punt. And they deserved it. They played sensational. Lawrence Ricks, the tailback, and he is caught by Bob Crable and thrown down. Very definite all out player, Keith. So each of these, uh, Ricks keeps the ball and busts loose. They thought they had him and he just kept on churning. Direct turnaround from last year, Keith, where they ran over 200 against practically every team that they played. Third down and about six for Michigan, and time obviously now the ally of the Wolverines as Ricks is spun around at the 45. And oh, they know the USC's going ahead now. High hanging punt. Oh, look at this. Oh, it finally gets in the end zone, but it was bounced, bounced twice. So showed some real poise in the last drive, throwing the ball down the middle. It. Throws that one to the sidelines for Mike Bushka. Tom Quinn starts it. First down, the ball is out of 33. Notre Dame. Hegel again looking to the sidelines. Throws it in the crowd. Michigan almost jumped. Second down and 10, Cagle. He looks for Bell, goes short instead to Hunter. Hunter is wrestled down. Up on the 36. Cagle is now 8 out of 17 for 125 yards. Wants to stop the clock with a sideline play. Gets it over there to Condini. First down for the Irish at the 45. Cagle getting pressure. Goes over the middle with it. And he hits Tony Hunter. Right dead smack on the hand. Second and 10. Going to set up a screen for the fullback Sweeney. Sweeney doesn't have anybody to help him, so John just works at it. So the Michigan Wolverines obviously have broken uh, the string. They had the uh, left side of the line. The Notre Dame man on the left side jumped off. Got 95, <laughs> offside, open. Irish come to the attack now in the final two minutes of the ball game. The pass is thrown out intended for Greg Bell. The tailback exception was really unnecessary. Something he'll learn from. He has to learn from these mistakes. Cagle goes to the air again. Hits his mouth. Knocked loose. Incomplete. On the 45. First down. And we're getting now a flood of substitutes for the Michigan Wolverines. Unless he changed the shirt. Michigan starting this possession. Researcher Jerry Klein and our statistician Mike Swanson. That's Brad Fisher, number 20 in the ball game. We finally found him. Brad coming onto the field. The game is over. The Michigan Wolverines have defeated the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, and they have done it convincingly by a score of 25 to 7. Jerry Faust walking off the field, across the field to meet Bo Schimbeckler. 
with his first college.